Hello lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my garden tour. This video I've been meaning to do for ages. If you're a long time subscriber, you'll know that when we moved into this house, we had literally a patch of mud to work with. Very slopey patch of mud, I'll show you now. And we have really transformed it and I'm excited to show you guys because it's literally 99% finished. It's pretty windy out there today, so I'm hoping it's not gonna be too like windswept when I'm trying to film. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looked like originally here, and then I'm gonna walk you around and show you our landscape garden and explain how we did it all. So there are two ways to go out to our garden. We have patio doors here, and we also have patio doors there, excuse the toy mess from my son this morning. So I'm gonna go out at these doors. And here is the garden. I'm gonna show you step by step. So I'm gonna just shut that behind me. So let's start with the patio. Excuse the messy corner and the hose over here. We are gonna get a shed. That's why I said it's 99% finished because we are gonna get a shed built in there for things like that and the furniture and whatnot. But I will start with the patio because I do get a lot of questions about our patio slabs. So these are porcelain patio slabs. Now they look stunning. We love the way they look, but I will warn you, they are extremely high maintenance. We were told when we bought them that they were like basically completely mark and stain resistant, super easy to look after. I would say that that is entirely untrue. <laughs> They're actually incredibly high maintenance and they mark really easily. So please keep that in mind. If you're thinking of getting white porcelain patio slabs, they look unreal, but be prepared to invest a lot of your time into looking after them it's a bit of a pain but we have got them the entire length of our patio so our patio is the first thing you walk out on when you walk into the garden we also had these drain bits fitted at the bottom which is really handy for rain and when you're like jet washing and brushing and things you can just put everything into there and then it runs out of a drain just in the wall there, can you see? This is normally wound up a lot neater than this. Clint's obviously not home and <laughs> he's the hose guy. But as I said, it literally goes across all of our bottom patio. And then we have like a second mini patio up there that I'll show you in just a second. The walls are the next thing I get asked about the most. So these are custom made brick walls that have been rendered in white render. So we did not DIY this. We got in a gardener, a professional landscape gardener to come and do this. This is sort of, Clint's a real handyman, but this was like a bit too far. So as you can see, we decided to do the curved wall all along here. And I'll show you probably when we get up there, but we have like a circle shape in the wall there where we have the like floor level trampoline but yeah these walls if i go a bit closer you can see are render so i'm no pro i'm no builder but i'm just telling you what i know <laughs> they were built with bricks and then the render was put over the top but they look great with the white patio i think i'll show you them more properly when we get up onto the lawn but let me just show you our patio furniture while i'm down here so this beautiful piece of round rattan furniture is from housing units but i know because a friend of mine recently tried to buy it i know that it is no longer for sale which is such a shame because it's such a beautiful piece of furniture this table actually can go flat and then you can put a cushion in the middle and it turns into like a huge day bed we actually never do that to be honest it's always left with the table up but it's a lovely option it came with the cushions, but the stripy cushions, I got those from Home Bargains. The plants in the middle are from Ikea, and I think this larger artificial plant was from Home Bargains. You can probably hear it creaking. <laughs> we also have this adjustable parasol, which is great because we get sun 
all day in our garden yeah we get sun all day in this garden although it's really overcast today so this umbrella is great this one is from the range and it can go like up and down and side and side and it's really really handy and we have weighted it down with some leftover patio slabs that we had so that it's sort of camouflaged rather than having to put sandbags or something on it that worked really well okay so that is the bottom patio explained so i'm going to start going up the stairs so <laughs> The next thing I get asked about a lot is this clock. I'm sorry to tell you that this clock is probably about 10 years old. We bought this in our very first little rental house that we got together. I got it on eBay for like 100 quid and it doesn't work. As you can see, the hands have completely snapped off. It's purely decorative and it's quite sentimental because it's so old and like one of the first things that we bought together, but I can't link that for you, I'm afraid. Now we have the steps here. That lead up to the next part of the garden again these were all built by our landscape gardener so on the first step we have something very very special probably the most special thing in the garden I don't know if you can read that and there you are this is Trevor so if you're new Trevor is our beloved bulldog that we had for 11 years it's actually his birthday tomorrow so it would be his 12th birthday tomorrow and most of his ashes are in the house with me but a tiny handful of his ashes have been put in here and my friends bought me this rose so it's really sentimental and as you can see we are starting to get some little rose buds on there so that's Trevi and then this little statue next to it this is Bruce <laughs> which I got for Clint as a joke again about 10 years ago not long after we got Trevor and we still have him now he's very special to us we sprayed him black and he fits in nicely in the garden he looks after my Trevi bush don't you Bruce so now I'm on like the middle patio so over here that's just the cover of the hot tub ignore that for now <laughs> but the plan is to have something put on this wall here we're thinking about getting a projector screen so that you can like watch movies and things when you're in the hot tub maybe that's a plan for next year but this is our little mini middle patio area that leads up to the decking and the hot tub so i think i'm going to go up there next so this is our little oasis hot tub area Clint did this himself well he got someone in to do the decking this is actually composite decking so it is plastic and will last forever and I get asked what color and what brand this is a lot so I'll link the composite decking and I'll also link these fence panels Clint did these himself like in a day it was quite um I say it was an easy job <laughs> easy for me to say because I was literally just sat watching but he made it look like an easy job so we got the decking and then obviously the hot tub is sunken into the deck and we wanted to just be able to walk in obviously the cover that you saw behind me is on top of the hot tub all the time so it's safe for the boys I've just taken off purely to film this video but we have a couple of steps to get up to the hot tub we have a lot of artificial plants around the hot tub every single one that you're looking at here is from ikea and so are the plant pots they're all ikea and then we've got these handy little rails and hooks and things so that people can hang up their towels and whatnot when they go into the hot tub and this little ikea basket has got the boys like hot tub toys and things in there hi <laughs> and this mirror is also from Ikea. When Clint said he was putting a mirror in, I actually wasn't too sure, but I like it. I think it looks cool. Again, all of these plants and pots are all from Ikea. And there's the hot tub, and then you can step down from the hot tub onto the lawn, or you can go down the stairs to get down from the hot tub, but we're so happy with how that corner's turned out. So, the last area to show you is 
the lawn area which is a bit it's like a backwards garden I guess because you've got the patio down there and then the lawn is higher up I get questions all the time about having this low wall with the kids obviously like Leo he's like six so he's completely sensible but yeah with Cooper you just have to be cautious we don't let him come out here on his own but to be honest he he lives here he's out here every day so he knows not to go near the wall it's more on my mind when I have like friends kids over because obviously they don't live here and they're not used to the layout of the garden so yeah like I say we just make sure that we're out here with them and just watch carefully and I love the way that the wall is curved like round the stairs and then the trampoline at the end I'll show you that in just a sec so we have another rendered wall at the back which is actually a planter and in there we have got a lot of black bamboo so this was only planted a few months ago it's still very new and when we first planted it because we had to split the plants they were a bit traumatized and they died back quite a lot but we've put a lot of effort into making them happy making sure they always have water and they are really starting to thrive and we've got a lot of new bamboo shoots coming up so by this time next year the hope is that this complete back fence will be invisible and just covered in the black bamboo that's the idea we get a lot of birds here we live right next to a river and yeah we get a lot of birds and things so we love to fill up our bird feeders and watch the birds come in in the morning these are a godsend i'm actually thinking about buying a couple more of these because they are so handy these are from beanbag bazaar i'll link them below and i think they were about 40 pounds each and then with the little footstool something like that was it 30 pounds they weren't that expensive i was quite shocked at how reasonable they were but they're so comfy we love to sit in these the boys love to sit in them and then in the winter obviously they just come inside and come back out in the summer obviously that's more of like a formal sitting place and then these are just nice and casual so the turf is the next thing I get asked about this is artificial turf I'm lucky that Clint knows how to fit <laughs> things like this um, I'm not entirely sure where he got it from I'll ask him and see if I can link it because it is a really nice like high quality one and it feels super super soft and you know you never have to mow it and it never goes brown which is a win okay so we're over in the corner of the lawn now and this is the boys trampoline area so the rendered wall literally comes round in a circle and then we made it deep enough so that the trampoline would be level with the wall and it just means that the boys can literally just crawl in and out of the trampoline as they please i need to get some new like foam covers for these pipes because the old ones just like disintegrated and fell off and now the metal is exposed so need to get some new like foam covers for those but this trampoline was worth every penny the boys go in there pretty much every day throughout the summer <laughs> this uh i get a lot of questions about this actually surprisingly this is cooper's little activity station that clint made out of love by hand it's just an old pallet that he made into a little table and he's just like put different things on it that he can play with he loves to like post things down there and then this is a little play sink that i got from lovery that he loves to play with and here's the boys garden toys which i just tidy away and put in that big bucket and they can get out whenever they want and then we've got leo's football goal as well that he loves to play with so yeah i love the fact that it's like a really aesthetically pretty garden but at the same time it is full of toys and kids stuff as well and the kids just love being out here like leo gets home from school and comes out straight away so the last thing i haven't spoke to you about is the lights but i can't show you until it's night time so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put my camera away and i'm going to come back tonight when it's dark and i'm going to turn on the lights and i'm going to show you our garden lighting <laughs> 